Hi, it's Deanna from Futures Past Boutique, and today I'm going to show you a really beautiful antique Civil War era doll. She's a China head doll, and she was made in Germany. She's circa 1860s, 1870s. And let me uh, zoom in. There's an angry crow above me right now. He's mad because I'm filming this video. Yep, he's definitely protesting. I'm unsure of her maker. She may have been made by Kanter and Bohm, Altbeck Gottschalk, maybe even Kessner. Um, she's unmarked, so I don't know. I'm not a, a China head doll uh, expert, but she's uh, what's known as a flat top. The top of her head is pretty flat. She has ringlet curls cascading down the side of her face. And the amazing part is she's wearing her original antique silk costume. It's a beautiful gown. As well hand embroidery. And lace. And she's quite stunning. So I'm going to show you uh, her original undergarments. Her um, hands are made out of some kind of uh, pottery. Usually it's made out of china, but this appears to be pottery. Um, her legs are also made out of some kind of pottery with uh, hand-painted boots. The rest of her body is made out of cloth. She has high-heeled boots. She's probably actually, the more I look at her, probably uh, circa early 1870. Because usually the early Civil War dolls um, from the 1860s had flat boots. She has a uh, little hand painted bows. Um, she has slips underneath and layers of undergarments. So, once again, I'm going to zoom in on her face. And you can see she's very sweet. Looks like she has a little beauty mark on her cheek. But that was known as a pepper spot. I think it's a kiln dust. So like um, when they were firing her um, paint in the uh, kiln, like little bits of uh, dirt got into the uh, glaze. But I think that little spot makes her prettier. So once again, thank you for watching another one of my videos and have a great day. Now tune in because I'll be uploading more videos of uh, really cool and amazing antiques shortly. Bye now.